guys welcome back to my channel and how are you guys doing it's been so long just kidding and today we're gonna be learning how to draw so uh what do you need for drawing a notebook obviously and look at this so nice so cute i made it myself and what else you need an uh, eraser for sure I'm using this Faber Castell Dust Free Eraser and you need a sharpener and this one is an automatic sharpener so it's really cool you want to see how so for example let me take this pencil I put it inside and it sharpens for me so cool uh, you can also use an ordinary sharpener it should be fine you need pencils for sure i'm using this pencil which has different shades so when i do my sketching drawing uh, it's gonna help me a lot for example the hair we always have different shades so it's very important for you to buy you can even use one pencil and the pressure of the pencil can say is it a dark or lighter shade something like that you understand what i mean <laughs> yeah and you need a ruler for measurements and for this method, grid method, a ruler is required, compulsory, okay? And you need an AirPods just in case if you want to listen to music when you're drawing. Uh, lastly, you need an iPad or a phone to refer to the image you are drawing. And for this method, iPad or phone is also required for you to like put the grids on the image and draw. And what are we going to draw today is... Hanji Zoe from Attack on Titan. I really like her so much, so that's why I want to draw her. So let me show you guys uh, the image. This is the one. Looks cool, right? Let me increase the brightness. Okay, yeah, this one. So I found this drawing in Pinterest by someone. I'll put the link in the description below if you guys want to like try the same drawing. Or you can try your own drawing using the method I told you guys. Or I'm gonna tell you guys, yeah? Right now, I'm gonna teach you guys how to put a grid on the image. So, let's see. Now, I'm quickly gonna add grid lines to the image. So go to search bar and search Yo Motherboard Grid on Image. This is the website I use to add my grid lines to the image. I'm gonna draw. So now, click that first link. And now scroll down and um, add your file here choose photo library or choose file wherever you saved and i'm gonna choose this one since i'm gonna draw that and now let's add grid scale i'm gonna be adding three digit number so it's gonna be 150 let's try this and scroll down and see is it okay and i don't really feel satisfied so i'm gonna change it to 140 I believe 140 is going to be the perfect um, size, so I'm going to take a screenshot and continue with my art. So right now, I hope you guys uh, saw the tutorial on how to put the grids on the image. So like I said, I always recommend you guys to put a 3 digit uh, number for the grids. So it will be easier for you to draw because the more the grids, it's harder for you to like draw and it can bring a lot of confusions. So let's get started. So uh, I put numbers on the grids like here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's because it's gonna make a uh, drawing easier for you to like see. So let's get started. I'm gonna open a fresh page. Ta da! Now I'm gonna draw the grids. So measurement is very important so your drawing will be perfect oh by the way i forgot to tell you guys that you need a calculator for this or if your math is good you don't need a calculator so now here in this one we have five boxes here vertically and four boxes horizontally so that means uh four centimeter and five centimeter and that uh, measurement is quite small so we're gonna like make it times 3 each so 5 times 3 is 15 and 4 times 3 is 12 so on the paper we're gonna like put 
uh, 12 centimeter this side and 15 centimeter this side. Let's do it. Sorry for the light reflections over here. So let's continue. So I'm gonna be uh, roughly doing it just for the video. But after I take the video, I'm gonna like put it perfectly. So here, I'm gonna put 15 centimeter. And this side, I'm gonna put 12 centimeter. Okay, that's more than 12. Okay, somewhere over here. So, make sure the lines are perfect. The measurement should be always perfect. So, let me finish it and show you guys. Hey guys, I finished drawing the outlines, which is this. And I also do uh, splittings here, 3 centimeters. And why I did that is because I told you here there's a one, two, three, four box, and we want a bigger scale. So I did uh, four times three, so 12. And each uh, box is three centimeter. Yep. A gentle reminder that do not draw your grid lines dark, okay? And now I finished drawing the grid lines, the boxes. So now let's start with the drawing. So since you have the grid lines, you don't have to like worry about where to start. You can start from anywhere. You find it um, easy. So in this drawing, I'm going to start by drawing her chin. Let's start. It's on the one to third line. So her chin is starting from the third line. So it's like that, like that, and like that. So that's what I did here. So the box one, two, three, third line. I drew like this but don't worry about if the lines are perfect or not like this uh, chin because you can fix it in the end just trust the process and to make life simple I want you guys to draw here the numbers one two three four and five and two three four so it will be easy for you guys to like see and draw let's continue so now I drew her hair like this, these up, this one, this one, and these two. You can see it over here. So just know which point connects where. You can see this one is like closer to the end point of box two. So that's what I did. Close, not in the middle, and not uh, too close, just over here. This is basically like graphing in mathematics yeah and now i'm gonna draw the rest of her hair hair is quite easy so just uh let's continue drawing this part this part this part so i finished drawing the hair i don't know if it looks good but we can fix it in the end now i'm gonna continue to draw her neck and her clothes and let's do the face in the end let's continue okay i finished drawing the clothes also and when drawing you can add your own style also you don't have to like copy exactly same you can change a little bit so it'll be like good you know and uh you can like compare these two if they are like same now i'm gonna continue with the face i'm gonna draw the eyes first then the nose and the mouth let's start and the shadings will be in the last okay so i finished drawing the eyes nose lips eyebrows yeah and i want to be honest with you guys that i'm really really bad at drawing eyes i was practicing yesterday and the day before yesterday i'll show you so yeah these were the eyes i was practicing um recently because i'm really bad as you can see this is also not really perfect but I'm trying to be perfect in drawing eyes so now i'm done drawing hanji zoe i'm gonna like correct a little bit and then start shading so this video is gonna end soon and I hope you guys are also following me or like watching and do it later. Hey guys, I finally done my drawing, my sketch. And how was it? Do you guys like it? I also finished uh, erasing the grid lines. So this is how it works. So I believe anyone can draw anything using this method. So look at the results. I'm really satisfied uh, seeing this one. It's really amazing can take a closer look
So guys, now we have completed this drawing. I'm really, really satisfied. And I also believe that you guys learn how to draw uh, using this method and it helped you a lot. And do uh, tag me in your post after drawing or like you can send me in Instagram the drawing you did using this method. And uh, my first drawing was actually a portrait, not an anime because uh, my teacher told me to draw it. I was like so shocked. I don't even know how to draw. How are you expect me to draw a portrait? I was like so worried. But later after drawing that, I got more confidence and I drew Justin Bieber. Let me show you guys. Ta-da! So yes, so you can, uh, don't need to start like me drawing the portrait. You can first uh, draw anime characters. Then after drawing anime character, you can start drawing a portrait. Maybe your favorite singer, idol, or favorite person, or you can draw yourself too. So for this drawing, I did most of it, but the eyes, I'm really bad at drawing eyes. So teacher helped me to draw the eyes. So it's more accurate and looks more like Justin Bieber because eyes are very important for drawing. I'm still weak at it, practicing to draw better. And that's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoy and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you. Bye-bye.